Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to my home. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things. Uh, looks like we got a few people in the house here today. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, truly appreciate it. Just a blanket hello to everybody. Um, I can see a lot of people that have uh, stayed up late. Uh, thank you. Um, and uh, I, I truly hope that uh, you can take this um, well, of course, uh, obviously you've seen the thumbnail. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, my Patreon members, of course, have known for about a week. Um, and uh, well, let's just say this, that uh, the volume is too low. Okay, let me uh, fix that real quickly. Hopefully, uh, is that a little better? Hopefully, sorry guys. Let me know in the chat if uh, the volume is much better for those of you wearing headphones. <laughs> uh, I would say hello to each and every one of you. I'm getting private messages like crazy. Um, Mr. Speeden, oh, thank you. Uh, all good. Thank you, Auntie Mumbo. Hey, Mindy's mom. Uh, just honestly, a blanket hello to everybody right now. Um, if I do see at Tokyo Drew, um, I will, of course, uh, say hi to you. But uh, thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate it. We've got 95 people to start off. That's crazy. Um, yeah, let's uh, just say right now, um, as you know by the thumbnail, uh, the thumbnail does show a lung cancer ribbon. Uh, I have been uh, kind of, diag I guess, diagnosed um, with lung cancer, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I found out, uh, a week and a bit ago, um, and, uh, been dealing with it. I'm going to go over, you know, my story so far. Um, and I hope that, uh, you know, you, uh, hi, Aunt, hello, Anna. Um, I hope that you can, uh, you know, listen and, uh, kind of understand what I'm going through. So, um, I do appreciate it. Uh, for all of you being here, smash that like button. <laughs> um, now, I, it doesn't say how many likes I have. I got to go over to the other one here. Um, oh, we got 55 likes already. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's a record. Damn, you guys are awesome. <laughs> so, uh, guys, let me just uh, tell you my story. Um, and then, uh, you know, Hopefully you guys can give me some advice and or whatever. Um, but I'm going to go all the way back. Um, you know, I've been smoking for 40 years. Um, obviously. Um, and I'll tell you a bit about the smoking and all these different things. But uh, thank you for the hearts, Mindy's mom. Appreciate it. Hey, Michelle Ty, by the way. Uh, thank you, Louise. Um, so I've always felt... I've been pretty healthy, even though I'm a smoker. And um, I actually, for the first time in probably my life, uh, when I was in Las Vegas uh, in December, really came down with what I assumed or kind of found out was kind of like a walking pneumonia kind of style thing. Um, and me being as stubborn as I am, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. And, you know, go down to the casino, go down to the Flamingo, play some slot machines, table games. You know, uh, I was wearing a mask for a bit, uh, trying to drink some teas. And it took me about a week to get over it, actually. Uh, the first three days I was in Las Vegas with my sister and that, um, I was okay. And then I came down with this thing. Came back to Japan. Um, probably by around the new year, I started feeling better. And on live streams, and, you know, as a community, you've been with me. Um, basically I was like, oh, I haven't felt better at all, you know, in my whole life. I could breathe really good and, 
Um, you know, I get chest pains every once in a while. Um, and about, uh, when was it? Uh, January... I gotta look here. January 22nd. Uh, it was a Monday. I started feeling a little bit uncomfortable uh, with my stomach area. And I thought, oh, IBS, you know, or build up of gas, or I gotta take a big shit, one or the other. <laughs> and Sorry for that. Um, and yeah, basically, I uh, dismissed it, you know, because the pain went away after a day or two. I'm not really a doctor guy kind of style thing. And the pain came back uh, a couple of days later. And it's not a pain pain, it was just uncomfortable. Um, but then, thank you, Twanda, I appreciate that. Thank you, Starshine. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, guys, I uh, went to the, the clinic on a Saturday afternoon, uh, January, whatever it was, and he, he didn't even do a sonogram. He just touched my stomach and gave me antibiotics. And I was kind of like, oh, okay. But Monday rolled around and I basically had pain. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I kind of had pain in the right side. So now I'm thinking gallbladder, gallstones, you know, I'm not thinking cancer. Um, and I went to uh, the clinic that morning and we did a sonogram. We uh, did x-rays and he said, well, everything looks okay. Uh, but we were looking at my stomach, not my lungs uh, for the most part. And uh, so I went for a CT. Uh, that uh, literally two hours later or something like that. Um, and while they were doing the CT, it was supposed to be just, I guess, a regular CT, but they must have noticed something because then they did a contrast CT. So they basically put this uh, IV thing into me and fed some kind of drug in there. I have no idea. It's supposed to read the images uh, much better. And uh, I got the CD, took it back to, hey, try, hey Gabe, uh, back to uh, the doctor. He opened up the CD. Uh, it's a dye. Thank you, Rim. Um, and I don't know any of these medical stuff, people. So if you know stuff about it, I appreciate uh, your comments in the uh, in, uh, in in the chat, of course. Um, so oh, I got to refresh my own live stream. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so basically. Uh, oh, we got 70 likes already. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> um, he opened up the, uh, the CD with all the imaging and all that. And as he was scrolling, I swear to God. Now, my doctor... Um, why is my replay not working now? Oh, okay, it is now. Um, my doctor just went, huh? And I'm sitting beside him looking. And then he looked down at the report from the CT people... And he showed me the mass and he showed me a picture of my lung. Now, I didn't load the lung part up or whatever. I'll, I'll show you guys um, as best as I can here. Uh, da -da -da -da. And right away, our first concern was uh, we saw the mass. And, uh, okay, I got to try and find it here. Where the hell did it go? Okay, me, 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 do, do, do. Now, I'll try and show you from my cell phone uh, the x-ray picture that uh, I want to share with you. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can find it. Where'd it go? I'm trying to find it here, guys. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or if it's too clear, um, but you can see right here, there's a little white circle kind of thing, and that is the uh, the tumor uh, in my right lung. So that's one thing right there. That's what he saw, and uh, he basically said, you know, you need to get in here tomorrow uh, with your wife. Um, and it, it it didn't set in, you know. I thought, oh, a little tumor, yay! Yay. But basically, Hiromi, Hiromi 
being uh, the medical professional that she is, um, saw the uh, the CT imaging and she almost passed out. She she was dumbfounded. Uh, it hit her bad. Um, and I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So basically the doctor said, yeah, um, you have a tumor here in your, in your, the bottom of your right lung, but they also noticed that uh, my lymph node here was lighting up, uh, pretty big. Um, and uh, I'll get into that in a minute, Frank B. Um, so they ordered, uh, basically for me to go to the cancer hospital. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the hospital in a second here, because we here in Japan, you have to get a letter of recommendation to go visit a hospital. I don't know if it's the same back home or not. Um, so <clears throat> we found out that uh, the main cancer hospital, uh, Cancer Institute uh, over by Tsukiji, um, was uh, if you went there before 12, you could wait and wait and wait all afternoon and try to get in a referral. Thank you, Nilsa. Nilsa, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We've got 134 people here. That's awesome, guys. Um, if we got to 100 likes within like how many minutes? That'd be freaking a record, guys. Smash that like button for me. Um, anyways, so I went to the hospital. We filled out. Oh, thank you, uh, Lewis. Sending you virtual hugs, my friend. I appreciate that. I wonder if the little thing's going to come up here now like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, they basically, I'll, I'll just say this. Oh, yeah, we can, everybody like that. You can press on the heart and you can see how many likes that Super Chat got. That's pretty cool. Um, basically, I got turned away. And this is the problem that uh, I don't really like is after we filled out the forms, they basically said, uh, if you don't speak Japanese on a native level, you must hire an interpreter to visit with you on all visits, hospital stays. And basically, we were like, oh my God, okay. So we called the interpreting company, like they give you a list. And it was basically $400 a visit plus $100 per half hour. So for the first hour, $600. And we were just like, what the hell? And I, I just, I was dumbfounded. Like, that they don't have enough communication. Oh, there it is. Hey, thank you, Louise. Um, so basically, we felt we got turned away because we figured it was going to, the first three visits would be about $8,000 uh, is what they guesstimated. So we just said, ah, oh, screw it. Hiromi being uh, in the medical field, obviously, you know, I'm not going to say exactly where she works. If you know, you know. Um, she called uh, the chief of her hospital and a couple of other hospitals. We got appointments as fast as we could. And... Uh, the sad part is Robert Mac Media is my wife, even though she can speak English and Japanese, they would not accept her. They wanted somebody qualified under what they have. So anyways, um, yeah, we uh, were just kind of dumbfounded. But as we were riding around the train, I found another hospital uh, over in Odaiba. It's the, uh, let me bring up the name here just real quickly. Uh, cancer hospitals. Um, yeah, it's the Cancer Institute Hospital of JFCR. Um, and Japan, Japan Foundation for Cancer Research. <coughs> they are rated the number two hospital, uh, and you can Google it if you wanted to. Um, they are the number two hospital. So, again, uh, thank you all for being here, but um this is my story so so far um so we called them and basically got an appointment for wednesday four or five days ago um in the meantime though we decided well my wife decided she wants to get better okay 
um, for results and for exams and um, so on and so forth. So on Tuesday morning, she booked a uh, PET scan. Uh, we paid out of pocket $1,600. Um, if we would have waited um, for the appointment and the doctor would have referred it, uh, we probably would have paid, you know, just a couple hundred dollars or, you know, my 30% through my insurance or whatever. But Hiromi did not want to. Uh, thank you, Louise. Mwah. Thank you, B. Um, Hiromi did not want to wait. She wanted to have this PET scan secured so that we could take it to the hospital the next day so that they would have the CT scans and the PET scans and we could start to understand everything that was going on. Um, and again, uh, for all of you that are here, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we are a community, and thank you for listening uh, to my story. Um, so yeah, I went for the PET scan, and that was pretty crazy. You know, they pump you full of radiation or whatever the hell it's called. Um, and... It was kind of weird because, um, as you can see, I got another picture here. Uh, thank you, creature. Um, kind of funny, I think. <laughs> but uh, let me just show you this picture off my cell phone here. Because Hiromi was having fun taking pictures. Now, I'm trying to be as lighthearted as I can about this, ladies and gentlemen. So please understand. Um, it, honestly, I don't think it's hit me yet. But... Um, so yeah, I got decked out in some uh, green medical things, of course. I'm just trying to see if that, uh, if you can see that up there. Not sure. Um, and then this here is basically the nurse uh, putting the, uh, the stuff into my veins to go all out through my body. Um, so that, you know, they can uh, do the PET scan. The contrast, you know, whatever it's called. So, like I said, I'm not great with all this medical. Um... So, let's cut to the chase. I went to the cancer hospital on Wednesday. And um, it's actually, uh, sorry, it's glucose. Kind of what they put into your veins. Uh, it's some glucose and, and whatever. I have no idea, right? But tumors, cancer, love glucose. So, it's, it's going to light up like a freaking Christmas tree uh, in the PET scan, so on and so forth. So basically, we got to the hospital. Um, you now, Japanese hospitals, the reason we picked this hospital is because if you speak Japanese or English, you, you're good to go. Um, if you speak Chinese, Vietnamese, uh, Russian, you know, whatever other language, then you have to have an interpreter. Um, this hospital is basically, people come from all over the world to this hospital. So I'm I'm feeling good about this, right? Um, but yeah, we had to do all this paperwork. Um, I had to go for blood, blood test. They took five vials of blood. Uh, they test for HIV. They test for, you know, this, that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, obviously for protection of the uh, medical workers also. Uh, I went for uh, some more chest exams. Uh, we don't know the results of these things yet. Um, oh, and at the PET CD, they will give us tests of the blood results. So everything will be combined into the uh, cancer hospital. But um, yeah, it was a bit daunting. Uh, we sat down with the doctor, and I'm going to bring up a picture here. It's not the greatest picture because I don't know how to read all these scans and stuff. Let me uh, show you kind of what I think. I'll just uh, hold on. I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> so, not sure if you can uh, see this, and is my, let me uh, just see if my, uh, my mouse actually went over the, uh, over the image here or not. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see my, my mouse, but in the, this is a picture of my lungs. I believe the, the bright shiny thing either is my lymph node, we'll get into that in a minute, but off to the left you can see a little orangey, tiny tumor there. Uh, and I'll get into that in a minute. So remember about that. Um, 
I couldn't really get all the images that I wanted. I'm only going to share two images with you. Um, and the other image is basically uh, the tumor is the far left little orange spot. And I believe the other one is my lymph node. So, and then of course the little one is, is gone now. Um, but basically guys, um, yeah, I have, uh, a, a few tumors, uh, in my, in my lungs. Um, and I don't know how, uh, I can explain this, but I, uh, the cancer has metastasized. Um, it is not, it is not local. It is, they called it distant, uh, regional, maybe not sure how that's working. Um, from what I know right now, okay, is I have a tumor in my lung that started, he said, probably years ago. He goes, I, you've probably been living with this tumor for years, but it's never showed up on my regular annual health check every year. Now, of course, it's only, um, it's only an x-ray at these, we call it Nengendaku. Uh, or a health check. So maybe they didn't see it, but he only is a little bit pissed and wants to sue the health check place. But, I'm, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. You would think that they ca caught it, but we didn't. Thank you, Luis. <laughs> um, you think they would have caught it. But anyways, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Sister Mindy's mom. I, I, I have a pretty good uh, attitude right now anyways. Um, so, guys, sorry. I to bore you all to death here, but uh, basically when we sat down with the doctor, he said, yes, um, and I'm going to hit you straight up with it, is you have a tumor in your right lung. Um, it has traveled, I guess, to your uh, lymph node. And via the PET scan, it has basically, if, if bear with me, if you will, where the tumor is here, it's gone to the lymph node. And in the pleural, the pleural is a membrane or a lining that protects your lung inside your body. Um, basically, the one that I showed you, the little one is kind of over here. And then there's another little one down here. So basically, the tumor decided to make babies. That's the way I'm putting it anyways. Um, so I guess basically, bottom line, I have four um, tumors, I guess, uh, or cancer in my body right now as we speak. So that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am living with lung cancer, and uh, I've slowly told, you know, my bosses. Um, I slowly told my Patreon members. I've slowly told my teachers, and I feel that I need to tell the community now um, and get, you know, just let the world know um, because I will be updating slowly on how everything is going. Um, in talking with the doctor, um, um, it is not operable right now, Kamala. Uh, when did the YouTube... What, when did YouTube start playing video games during live streams? I have no idea what you're talking about, but um, start playing video games. No idea. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you, Mohammed. I appreciate that. It helps. It really does. I'm going to give you a heart on that one. Thank you. That's two or three likes on that one. Thank you. Um, so basically, here's what the doctor said. Um, oh, wow. Thank you, Fran. I appreciate that. Um, the doctor said, yes, you have a tumor and you have the lymph node and you have the, uh, well, thanks guys. I appreciate it, but it, it, really, um, you have the two little tumors there. This is what he said. And I, I got to get through this without looking at the chat. Um, you are past radiation and surgery. So, yes, yeah, somebody asked me what stage am I at for treatment. And I don't know everything, but in my mind, the treatment right now is stage four lung cancer. Uh, they go by uh, the treatment, which is stages, to figure out exactly 
Um, thank you, Dax Wolf. I, I do appreciate that. And friend, thank you. Um, truly appreciate it. Um, went to a commercial while you were talking. Yeah, John, I, I think it just, whatever, it, it throws in commercials every once in a while. I thought I turned them off. Sorry about that. If you guys get a commercial, I don't need to be doing that. But um, so, yeah, it looks like stage four lung cancer for the treatment. Uh, the T, I believe, is the size of the tumor. And my main tumor is a T between a T3 to a T, almost a T4. Uh, it's about three. They said kind of like maybe three centimeters uh, right now. Do you handle your cravings? That's my problem. Um, I have no idea. Uh, stage, I, I don't know what stage four symptoms are, I guess. But And then the metastasize or the metastasis or however you say that word, because I'm still learning how to say that word, uh, is between an M3 and an M4. So for all you medical people that know stuff, um, that's kind of what I've been told. <coughs> um, and basically... Uh, I know Peter Kane uh, had said something about a bronchoscopy, a bron 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 something, biopsy. Um, you must change your diet, no sugar and smoking. Well, if you saw me yesterday, um, I hey, construction cronies, how are you? Um, yeah, no worries, bro. It is what it is, guys. To me, it's business as usual. Until I drop off the face of this earth, I'll always be smiling. <laughs> So, I quit smoking, but I've had a couple puffs here and there. Sorry. Um, actually, I had a puff last night because I just couldn't handle the mental stress. But going from 12 to 14 cigarettes a day down to a couple puffs just to wean myself off, I, I got to really, thank you, why you tripping? I got to really, you know, obviously stop smoking once we start the chemo. Um, I am going straight down into chemo, from what I've been told. Um, I'm hoping that I can start chemo in March, and let's see how it reacts. And basically, the, what the doctor said, he goes, and, you know, we don't know anything. We don't know, you know, we, once we do the biopsy, um, you know, so on and so forth, we'll know more. But he basically looked at me, tried to reassure me, I guess give me some hope that, okay, we're going to start chemo. And we're going to try to shrink those cancerous things, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, thank you, Ram. I guess we hit 100. That's so creepy. Um, you know what? I can do this also. Look at this. Watch this. I can gift some memberships also. Our, our, I'm going to do it. There we go. Let's see. Does it work? Yes, I just gifted five memberships. Yay! Um, <coughs> our, our emoji club is only at about 158, so 159. We'll get up to about 164. Uh, Vasco, yes. Are we done now? Uh, Vasco, I live in Japan. This is my home, and I will be here forever. Um we're going to try chemo, see how I react. And uh, thank you, uh, Martin. How are you, by the way, over in South uh, Africa? Um, we're going to try to, I guess, shrink them or whatever. Um, oh, I got to be quiet because Kamo just gifted five memberships. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have. So creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta change that. Oh my god, that's funny. Sorry guys. Is it just going on and on? Hold on, there might be there might be something wrong here. Not sure. Oh, okay. Uh anyways, so basically. Uh, before we get some more notifications, I do appreciate the support. Uh, oh, was that Vin that did that too? Let me see here. Oh, thanks, Vin. Um, is basically, guys, I gotta get I gotta get this out. 
Uh, hey, Glamour by Liz, by the way. Um, we're going to start chemo. I don't know what to expect from chemo, to be honest, guys. Uh, do I have to be... Uh, probably, obviously, i got to be hospitalized for the first uh, few treatments, probably. You know, three, four, oh, five God. days. I'm not sure. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. Um, and, hey, Will Richie, good morning. I guess after a few treatments, maybe a three-month cycle or whatever, if the chemo is working, uh, he did say that we could then try, after that, radiation and surgery to get the small little ones out of my pleural, uh, out of the, the things surrounding my lung. That is very important. They're going to probably do something with the uh, lymph node, but they're probably going to leave, for now, the, the main, the host, I guess you could say. Um, because I guess if it's in the plural of the lung, that could also, um, why you trip and can I ask how old you are? I'm 56 years old. Um, I guess that could cause uh, complications. Uh, water uh, in the plural is not good. You have to get drained and all these different things. So I am optimistic. I, I feel um, that if the chemo does work and so on and so forth, and this is just my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a medical professional, obviously. Uh, I got a lot of people kind of uh, telling me this and that. I'm Google doctoring it, of course. You know, all these different things, right? Sorry to hear the news. Stay strong. I hope you can get through it. Thank you. Uh, Quintic09. Sorry, I said your name wrong, probably. Um, <coughs> thank you, Gail, for uh, letting me know that. Plural effusion. Liquid around the lungs. Thank you, Mike. Hawk. Yes. Um, so, creature, you got to just drew it. I am, and I'm just drewing it, guys. I'm doing it my way. Uh, um, so what's coming up though again is next week I have to go for an MRI um, because in the PET CT it doesn't show like I wish I could show you but when they the PET CT when it showed my whole thing my brain lit up like a Christmas tree my kidneys light up like a Christmas tree your bladder lights up like a Christmas tree and when I first saw that I was like Oh my God, I'm cancer everywhere. But they're like, no. <laughs> um, the good thing is though, right now, um, I'll get into that in a minute, Gail. Um, the good thing right now is I have cancer. To me, it's localized because it's only in my right lung. Hell man, they could I could get a lung transplant. Well, no, that would cost like a million dollars from what I heard. Um, you know, maybe they could cut out my... Oh one of my lower lower uh, lobes, you know, whatever. Uh, surgery obviously is uh, uh, good, but I have to go for an MRI just to make sure that I don't have any any cancerous, like from the, from the lymph node, it didn't go into my brain. Man, that would suck. Woo. Um, I am happy um, that, uh, I always knew you were a bright boy. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> See, I ain't not a, you know, one of these bricks short of a load, you know. Um, I got to go for a CT scan on Wednesday, um, MRI on Wednesday. And Peter Kane had mentioned it. Um, I am going for a bronchoscopy. I don't know how to say that. Um, and I will be getting a biopsy uh, into my lymph node um that they saw um mri and biopsy will give them more information necessary before they can proceed yes um so yeah basically uh let me see if i can find some more pictures here for you um i'll just show you this other one is uh the doctor actually drew this and i will uh basically kind of show this to you here I don't know. I hope you guys can see this. I'll look for the replay. Uh, probably not as best as possible, but you can see that's a picture of my right lung there. Um, basically, the tumor is in my the bottom corner there. And the tumor, uh, he said, basically, you can see the little red lines, one going up, one going kind of down and across are where the two other little cancers are. And uh, the lymph node, he's going to be doing the biopsy uh, out of that. So that's basically, hopefully, 
I didn't show too much of it. Well, I showed my name anyways. Um, so I'm going to be getting a biopsy through a bronchial thing or whatever. From what I've I've heard, they they basically check, do all my vitals and stuff in the morning. And I'll probably have like one of these uh, the circle thing to keep my mouth open. Uh, I'll get a spray to numb the back of my throat. Uh, they will give me a sedative, he said. Um, how are you feeling right now? I'm good. Um, I think he know me came back home. Um, but yeah, I'll get the, the bronchoscopy done. Uh, they, they said it should take, you know, 15 minutes to 30 minutes or whatever. Um, and unfortunately, I have to probably stay in the hospital for a couple of hours while I, uh, we, you know, the sedative wears off, uh, things like that. The good thing is my wife will be there also. She had to, she's taken a day off work. Um, she, you know, it's hit her hard too, right? It's, and she said the most amazing words to me last week. And she basically said, this is our cancer. Um, and I was like, oh, I melted. Um, you know, this is, I guess in, in a roundabout way, this has made uh, Hiromi and I appreciate life even that much more. Um, but uh, hey, Ben. Um, yeah, I guess basically... The way I'm looking at it is, uh, uh, no, she does not, Jesus Christ the second. <laughs> she quit. So I'm having a harder time quitting smoking. Um, you know, a, a couple puffs here and there. Um, but I know quitting cold turkey, you know, some people can do it uh, mentally. I, I just have a hard time. I know I got to do it within a couple of weeks. I got to be smoke free. That is my goal. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, I know I got to quit smoking. Now, diet change. Uh, we haven't had it sat down with the doctor yet as to what I can eat and what I can't eat. Thank you, Twanda. Um, but I do know, like John McKee had said, stay away from a lot of sugars. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, what about alcohol? Um, I haven't had a sip of alcohol since I, I found out. Beer, whiskey, it's all just sitting there. Um, I do want to ask, you know, can I use nicotine uh, certain things to help me? But maybe I don't need it. You know, my goal is to be, to be mentally strong um, so that when I start chemo, you know, my body is strong. Um, alcohol is sugar, exactly. Um, my my uh, my mentality is strong, so that I can do this. I'm not giving up. Um, I have. I think I have a good attitude for this. Um, you're supposed to stay away from barbecues and charcoal. Well, thank God I live in Japan, Mindy's mom, because we don't have stuff like that really on our balconies or even in the neighborhoods and stuff. You'd have to go to a restaurant for that. Um, Mr. Smokehouse 6, you can. I can, yes. Um, so, by the end of February, we will know the results of the biopsy. Um, I think by February 26, I'm not sure if we're going in for, um, uh, to sit down with the doctor and talk about treatment plans. Um, I will say this, though. Somebody asked me about the doctor, and I got the, uh, I want to say the head of oncology. Um, he's the top physician cancer doctor in this hospital. Um, so I, people, even the, 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 the translator lady that's, that works for the hospital, she was kind of with me, uh, in case he really couldn't tra translate, uh, things, but they're all saying like, you're lucky you got this guy. So thank you, Fellini. Um, I, I hope, Hey, great. You know? Uh, but I do know my wife, and she will not rest until everything, um, everything can be done. Um, we're we're gonna fight this, and uh, you know I really appreciate uh, this. 
I appreciate my wife, obviously. Um, I appreciate, you know, everything she's doing for me, uh, making sure that uh, um, right now we're not worried about diet, to be honest. We're not. Um, I'm not eating, like I stopped eating sweets. Um, I had, a, you know, a little bit. But, hey, Misian, how are you? Long time. Um, but, again, I'm going to eat what I eat. But I'm eating smaller things. I've lost about 8 kilograms. No, 7 kilograms or something like that since December. Um, but I'm maintaining a, a weight right now of about one 109.5 kilograms to 110.5 kilograms. So... I'm not losing weight because of this. Um, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> um, I want to share with the world because, you know, if you tell one person, they might psh, 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 and then it just goes on down the road. So I would rather make this live stream, this video with everybody and explain exactly this is my situation so that I can update every once in a while as to what is going on. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, I swallowed something. Um, it's not the cancer. Oh, at least I don't think so. Um, you know, I've told everybody in uh, the last little while, you know, those that uh, I'm very close with. Um, but now I'm, of course, telling the world. Um, I don't know where I'm going from here, ladies and gentlemen. To be honest, I am scared shitless. Yes. Um, do I need your support? Yes. And just keep me in your prayers, obviously, you know. Um That's interesting. Um, I think once we find out, you know, how severe it is, I'm thinking the worst. I always think the worst uh, for this. You need to keep your protein levels up once you're on chemo, but have a talk with your oncologist. Uh, they should have a dietitian that can guide you on staff. Thank you. Um, I'm the type of guy that I will eat even if I'm not hungry. I heard that uh, you lose your appetite or, you know, this and that happen. And, hey, that's all good. That's all good, you right? Um, why is... Okay, I'm not in 1080p. If you go to the little cog, you can get the, the stream in 1080p, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, uh, Kamal. Thank you, Luis. I appreciate it. Um, I'm scared shitless. My wife is scared. Um, you know, Hiromi's got to be strong for me. I got to be strong for Hiromi. Um, you know, this is our cancer, as she said, and I will say this though, you know, sometimes this is my den, by the way, you know, we got the Dyson from years past, you know, we got, uh, honestly, we got, uh, massive desks, nine feet long here, uh, with PCs. This is my office, uh, my den, my, my junk drawer, my coffee storage. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yes, keep strong. Thank you, Kamal. Um, we are going to just continue going forward. Um, I really hope that the chemo helps, right? Um, you know, there's a couple people in the community. Uh, I wish this would be a Steelers man cave, friend, um, that are on chemo right now. And I've talked to them. Uh, to see how, you know, they, they do the chemo the next, you know, up until the next day, they're kind of like, Bleh. but, and I, I know I'm going to go down, but I, I got to stay strong for my wife, my puppies, my, my kids. You know, I talked to my son in Vancouver the other day, uh, which was really nice to, uh, talk with him. Uh, I hated breaking the news to him. I still have to break the news to, well, somebody might see this video, my brother, my two brothers, my sister already knows. Um, I don't, my son here in Japan, Kai, does not know, but I think he's going to catch on from an Instagram post. So I want to sit down and talk with him. 
Um, but I just want everybody to know uh, because I, I, it's going to be hard for me to hide it, right? It's going to be hard for me to, uh, you know, not live stream. And people are like, oh, where's Drew? Where's Drew? Why? Oh, why doesn't he look so well? This, why is he coughing? Oh my God. Right. Um, and who knows? Maybe I can live stream from the hospital. The one good thing is, I will say this. As a foreigner at this hospital, I have to have a private room. So me being admitted into the hospital might take some time to start my treatments, not sure. Um, unfortunately though, um, we were looking at it and uh, it's about four, they, they told my wife, it's about four to $500 per day. Now, I don't know how much um, does the, uh, the, my insurance cover some of that or do we have to pay out of pocket for that? We'll find out later. Thank you Forsyth. I never got, your new year drinks so have something for healthy food or whatever treats are compatible thank you uh foresight i appreciate that oh we got to give a like on the on the super chat i like that that's pretty cool that you can give likes thanks around for letting us know yesterday seven likes on uh foresight super chat let's see if we can get to 10 come on guys smash that super chat <laughs> uh drew please ask wife to google maggie's tokyo i'll just do it myself right now um but yeah, that's uh, kind of uh, where we're at right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Maggie's Tokyo. Uh, uh, local medical services in the Koto. Uh, I'm just trying to see. I'm just going to the actual uh, everyone's home of cancer care. Oh, nice. Uh, who, who actually who gave me that? Uh, oh, Starshine. Thank you, Starshine, for uh, letting me know that. Um, hmm. I got to translate it to English, of course, but it uh, seems like it's a support thing. What kind of place is Maggie's Tokyo? Uh, for everyone affected by cancer, comfortable second home, specialist, staff knowledgeable about cancer, um, so on and so forth. So thank you. I'll, I'll look into that later on. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. It sucks. It does. What can I do about it? Not much. You know, I, I wish I could bring my wife in here, but um, Michael Tata, does Tikio Sam know? That's kind of interesting why you asked that question. Unfortunately, um, somebody in my close, in my circle of uh, members, did tell Tikio Sam a few days ago. And uh, I don't know why you're asking me about that, Michael Tata, but um, yes, Sam knows. Sam messaged me and uh, he's like, Dad, you fight. I need you, Dad. <laughs> so, yes, Drew, we will help you in this fight. I'm asking God to keep healthy and strong. Thank you, Twanda. I appreciate that. It's okay to cry, Drew. You know what's funny, Tracy Garcia? My wife said the same thing. She said, if you cry, I will cry with you, you know? And I was like, um, I don't want to cry. Honestly, I would say right now the news is about 40% in my brain. I understand the seriousness of it. I do. Um, but, but once we get the biopsy results and what I'm going to have to go through in the future, um, I have no idea. I really don't. Um, maybe I'll get more scared. You know, maybe I will. Yeah, everybody processes information differently. Absolutely glamour by Liz. I don't want to really go through this, but, you know, Shogunai, I'm here. Um, you know, oh, and I want to give a big shout out to one of our uh, newest uh, Patreon members. Yay! Um, Anna, thank you over in uh, the UK. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support, Starshine, for uh, 
you know, our, our memberships is for local charity. I should change it to the Cancer Foundation now. Ah, oh, never thought about that. Um, but someone I knew had used it. Okay, thank you, uh, Gail. Uh, hey, Tetrazium, have I said hi to you? Sorry, I'm not sure if I have. Um, but yeah, speaking of Patreon, postcards are prepared. I'm not going to show you the addresses or not, but uh, I will be sending out letters and postcards uh, for those of you that are getting it this month. I think it's the the uh, the twenty dollar and up people. Um, so those will be going out on Monday, along with uh, the gift boxes. Whoever's getting those, just to let you know. Um, but buckle up, let's go. How are you? Thank you for being here. Don't be shy. You need anything? Tell us, and we are all with you. Thank you. I know a lot of you have been saying, um, um, we're here for you, Drew. And I thank you. I really do. Uh, this has even affected Gary. He's pulling for you, brother. Hi, Gary. <laughs> that means a lot, actually, Mindy's mom. Um, last month's postcard was awesome. Good. Then you will enjoy this month's postcard, Tetrazium. I know you will. Uh, the hospital you're going to may have its own cancer foundation. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look at that too. <clears throat> but I committed to this supporting the animals. But Jason Pointer, how are you, sir? Um, are you still an LV? Hope you're doing well. I might change it over, um, you know, maybe with everybody's blessing to uh, donate to the Cancer Foundation. Um, that might probably be a good idea, to be honest. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll deal with that later on. Now I'm in tears again. We love you so much. Oh, thank you, Mindy's mom. I, I'm okay, guys. You know, um, right now, I will say this, though. I do have stomach pain. Still don't know where it's coming from. No idea. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more answers. Um, you got my okay to switch. Thank you, Ram. Uh, Team Canada is behind you. Thank you, Peter. Um, you got my blessing, Drew, to change. Thank you. So I bet you I do. I think it's probably better. Um, right now, I do have a dull pain. It just feels like it's in my colon, the big, the big guy, the big one. Um, so yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe I do have IBS, or maybe I just gotta keep taking big shits for the rest of my life. I don't know. Um, I know Pink Pip Boy Stanley. I know you agree. And honestly, Stanley, thank you for your help. I really appreciate uh, uh, the chats that we've, you know, a couple of chats we've had back and forth on Patreon. Uh, I appreciate your uh, experience and advice. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. I get that when I'm stressed. Um, unfortunately, yesterday it was kind of moving into my back area over here. So maybe I pulled a muscle. The problem now that I know, ladies and gentlemen, every little pain or everything I get, oh my God, it's due to the cancer. <laughs> it drives me nuts. But yes, um, I guess basically for all of you to uh, understand, it's in my words, these are my words, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have lung cancer. Um, hey, Robert uh, Kosinski, how are you? Um, I do, like, Robert Kosinski just put a message there. You're extremely old. That's a problem. I feel he's joking around with me because I've known Robert for years. And that's what I need, guys. I need people. To, and Motonome does the same thing, right? Um, I need laughter. I need the positivity. I'll always be positive until I can't. Um, but yeah, right now, um, it hasn't hit me 100%. It, I'm dealing with it the way I am. Uh, Hiromi and I are dealing with it the best that we can. Um, Drew, changing diet can mess with your gut. Sorry to hear that. Um, I think that... Uh, you know, moving forward, I will give updates um, on the community page uh, of this channel. I will give updates on Instagram now. Um, and just let you guys know, you know, I know you guys care. 
Uh, we are a community um, and whole in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Twanda. Uh, give up on the Steelers. You feel better. See? Like, okay, Motonome, you're, you're crossing the line there, okay? I can take jokes all aside, but you pick on my freaking Steelers. <laughs> Just don't get OMS and forget you have it. I know, right, Ramsey Silent? Um, you have all my positiveness. Positivityness. Love it, Auntie Mambo. To fight this and sending you all I can to help support your fight, nephew. Thank you, Auntie Mambo. Uh, the love is the best. At least you got the chemo hair thing. I know, right? Somebody joked around with me, but the Steelers are a joke. <clears throat> no worries, Robert. You know what? Um, shit happens. I'm not going anywhere for decades, ladies and gentlemen. You got to put up with me on YouTube. Oh, and have you subscribed to Tokyo Drew Travels yet, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I think we're at like 511 subscribers. Woohoo! Um, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna check. I wanna check. Let's see. Tokyo Drew Travels. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're at 8,899 subscribers on this channel. Woohoo! Tokyo Drew Travels has 512. Wow. Nice! Or are we at 8,000? 900, did we just hit 8,900 subscribers on this channel right now as we are live? We did. 89, whoop, whoop. 1,100 more subscribers to go before I can actually get my goal of 10,000. That'd be awesome. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, got to deal with it. I just want to announce to the world uh, about this. And uh, please, you know, pray for me. Um, make me laugh. Um, for those of, us, those of us that never liked your soul patch, won't be a problem, okay? <laughs> Not sure what that meant. Be by the sea. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I just want to... Uh, hey, hey, MTL, how are you? Sorry for the bad news. Yeah, got lung cancer, guys. I hope... You know, I think and I feel that with 2024, the the medications that are out there, the anti-cancer drugs, um, way better than years past. I feel I have a fighting chance. Um, you know, I honestly, I really, really, really hope that the chemo does well and that we can uh, cut out those baby tumors, fix my lymph node. I, I talked with somebody who's in the chat right now um, who has had cancer and they had many lymph nodes removed, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and many were cancerous. So, you know, that gives me a bit of a hope and prayer um, that, you know, things can be done and hopefully, you know, it doesn't spread anywhere else. Um, and the chemo will travel throughout my whole body. So if there's other cancers that are undetected, It'll fight that too. So, you know what? I'm, I'm trying to keep as positive as I can. You know, once we can contain that and it's not growing anymore and or whatever, I don't know how it works. If we can cut them out. Hey, let's cut them out of my body. Let's get me, let's get me into remission or whatever the hell you call that and keep fighting. If I got to do chemo, which I'm pretty sure I got to do for the rest of my life, I'm okay with that. As long as it extends my life to have a to live a, an amazing life with my wife Hiromi and my puppies, as long as having a relationship with my community, uh, with my son in Canada Christopher, with my son here in Japan Kai, with my sister, with my brother, hey, that's all I can ask for, guys. You know, um, don't make me cry. Katopa, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Reed says, no smoking, prayers, thumbs up, lungs, yes. Hi, Maria, how are you? Hi, you just wanted to stop by on my way to bed and say hello to you and the community. Thank you, Maria. Uh, I appreciate it. 
Uh, love you, girl. Thank you for being here. I know it's really late for you, you and Forsyth and people like Nick R and Stu, Stu. Uh, and uh, I haven't seen Stefan in a while or G6, but uh, um, this is surreal. Uh, yeah, you know, honestly, you should have seen how I felt last week when I found out I have lung cancer. Ugh! Like, talk about hit me over the head, you know? It was just like, holy Christ. But, you know, I'm slowly trying to deal with it, guys. And, you know, yesterday you saw me, uh, we went to Weno and we walked around the uh, the night, the, the, the street market and all that. <clears throat> I, I'm going to be going out filming today for Tokyo Drew Travels. Um, because I haven't posted a video there for two weeks. Uh, I wanted to post every week, but, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, YouTube is kind of on the back burner, ladies and gentlemen, but I want to be here too, right? Fran says, uh, Tokyo Drew, almost 20 years ago that Don was diagnosed and he's still here. Chemo has come a long way since then, so you have an awesome chance to beat this. Thank you, Fran. I didn't know Dawn was, went through this. So that's kind of interesting news. My goodness. Um, Forsyth, the time's not important to me. I keep weird hours anyways. You know, you're awesome, Forsyth. Uh, dirty jokes help. See? I agree. <laughs> Frank B, thank you. Kim and I. Hi, Kim, by the way, if you're watching. Send you all the prayers. You got this. Thank you so much. I, I do got this, guys. I'm not going... I don't want to disappoint my wife. That's the biggest thing right now. And I know that sounds kind of weird, right? I'm the one with cancer. I'm the one that's going to go through all this shit. But I am more worried about how my wife feels and the mental stress that she's going through. Um, the time that... She has to take off work to spend with me, to care for me. Like, like she said, we're in this together. I get it, but I feel guilty. I do. And that sucks, man. But uh, yeah, we'll do it. You know, uh, no worries. No worries. Hey, Amanda Moore. How are you? Not sure if you're into it, but my friend recommended Reiki to help with the stress chemo can put on the body. Uh, can you send, Amanda, can you send me a message uh, as to exactly what that is? Maybe in Japanese, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, Gail Expresses, you got this for sure. Don't worry about, about YouTube. We got your back. Thank you, Fellini. Uh, she is watching. Okay, fun. Hi, Kim. Um, Maria's, you're welcome. Is there any support available for Hiromi? Just right now, we don't know how much time... Uh, B is C in, uh, I got that, um, uh, uh, Louis, Luis, I knew that. <laughs> B by the C. Who else would it be? Get it? <laughs> Thank you, Wander. Stop it. You won't disappoint her. Give Hiromi my email if she needs to vent. Uh, I've been through the caregiver role and will help her all I can. Thank you. Fran is right. Treatments have come a long way. My uncle survived. Oh, I saw that. Sorry, uh, Jeremy. I saw you write that earlier. Um, Penelope Meow, thank you for sharing. Keep that positive attitude. I'm trying, uh, Penelope. I really am. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been about an hour. Um, there's not much else I can talk about, you know? Like, the only thing I guess I could say, um, you have a great wife, Drew. It's hard to find a partner in life who will stick with you through hard times and good times. And she does. My wife has taught me so much. Um, I have struggled my whole life. And I'm not going to get into the whole, oh, woo, woo is me, because I really don't want that. I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I don't want people feeling sorry for me. Keep me in your prayers. Wish me well. Make dirty jokes. Right, see? But I don't want the sorrow. I want this to be happy. But... Since I met my wife, married her, we've had our ups and downs. But I have never had a better life until I met Hiromi. I lived in Canada. I lived in Vancouver. I've had ups and downs. I've lived on the street. I've gone through lots of drugs. Um, I, I've had so many amazing things, so many bad things in my life. Um... 
but meeting my wife is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I just want to tell that to the world. Thank you, Hiromi. I really appreciate it. Uh, Gail Expressos wants to message you. Uh, Gail Expressos, if you check out my About page here, you can get my email. Um, and you can message me that way. If you're dealing with it, uh, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your family so we can stay with you. Drew, you were made to kick C straight to that. Yeah, absolutely, Twanda. Thank you. One day at a time, Drew. Thank you, Jim and Harry. I, yes, absolutely, one day at a time. Um, yeah, if it, it, you know, honestly, if you check on my about page thing or whatever it is. <laughs> I'll blame the onions, Auntie Mambo, if I start crying. Absolutely. <laughs> on my about page is my email. If you want to reach out, great. I might not email you back right away. Sometimes it takes me days. I'm sorry. Um, or if I don't need to return your email, great. You just want to give me some advice. Thank you also. Um, but yeah, my email is in my about page or wherever it is on YouTube. You have access to it. By all means, let me know. Okay. Let me check my email just in case. Ah. Uh, Otherwise, uh, no, nope, nobody's emailed me. Nobody's emailed me. Emailed <laughs> me. <laughs> um, I want to say thank you to the community. Um, you know, it's, it's been a great ride. Uh, it's amazing. Um, just tuned in. YouTube didn't let me know. I have to watch the replay. Wishing you quick recovery. Thank you, Cindy. And hi, by the way, hi, Harry, Harry, uh, ugly Harry monster. Thank you. Uh, stop it, B. Hi, Drew. You have our support. We are sending you both huge hugs. Thank you, uh, B. Thank you, Luis. I might have to move in with you uh, uh, next year. You know, you never know. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. I don't want to. I just want to keep it for about an hour just to let you know what's going on. <clears throat> if you want to reach out to me, great. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Um, Bill S., one of my members, is asking me, how are you doing? Uh, um, hold on. Reply. Reply after. Live streaming now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, guys, right now I am mentally okay. I'm dealing with it my way. Laughter is the best medicine. I've always believed that. Um, I might have like yesterday in the live stream, I had a bit of pain. I can experience a little bit of pain right now. Um, but, uh, what prompted me? Yeah, I had stomach pain Fellini and that's what prompted me to uh, get checked. So I'm glad that I had stomach pain. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's been going on. So guys, thank you. I uh, really, 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 I uh, really appreciate the support. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'll keep you updated on after, next week on, well, the MRI, I'm not too worried about. Uh, the bronchoscopy, bron bronco, whatever you have. Um, that's going to be funky. And then once we know more of the news and the treatment plan, I will probably do another video or uh, keep you guys updated on the community page. Uh, most Mostly I'm going to be more with my Patreon members. So <laughs> here comes the hook, right? If you want to join Patreon, <laughs> links in the description. Um, I'll keep everybody updated as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's just move forward. And uh, we'll hope to see you guys... Uh, you know, one day here in Japan, or uh, who knows, maybe we'll go back to Vancouver, Vegas, LA, New York, Hawaii. Not giving up. Grover Monster, how are you? It's been a long time uh, since I've seen you. But uh, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is just the beginning. I'm not going to let anything take me away from you, or my wife, or my puppies, or my family. I got this. Damn right, Sydney. 
We'll see you guys real soon. It is 11.15. I have to go out uh, do some filming. But uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you if you uh, want to help out in any way. I truly appreciate it. Until next time, keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself. Because I always do. No one fights alone. Peace.